Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some Omir's Madness. So this is the special format for the week end. So basically, your deck's all lands, and you can pay X mana uh, each turn, and it randomly will pull a creature from the game with converted mana cost X. Um, so basically, we were playing this in another video, and it's a race to 9 mana, so whoever gets a comma out first wins. But uh, it seems like an interesting format. At times, it is a little bit luck based. Uh, we got Biogenic Ooze, and the opponent got a 5 drop that explores. So, not really the most skill intensive. The luck is definitely on your side in some of these cases. So, we'll see how aggressive the opponent gets. Desclusion Zealot's not the worst for the opponent. So here I think we'll get out a 3-drop just to buffer our life total. And we got the most vanilla -ish of vanilla creatures. A Chain Whirler would have been good. At least it blocks. Our boss is very good. So, opponent somewhat forcing our hand to So we'll see what we hit here. And it's a 3-3 death touch. Not the worst. Very least, this holds the opponent at bay for a couple of turns. Are you kidding me, Arcades? And this is where this gets nuts. Like, the opponent hits Arcades, we hit this 3 3 Death Toucher, which does literal nothing in the face of Arcades. So, we'll see what we hit here. Oh, that's actually interesting. So no attacks here. They have to attack so we can exile their Arcades, which is actually pretty funny. So the war boss is actually gonna trigger the trap jaw. So here I'm willing to take two damage a turn. because we can exile the Arcades. Three, seven, that's fine. Uh, let's get a six drop out. Awesome. No attacks here. We could just pump mana into Lathras and attack into our opponent and then just start exiling whatever they play. So the scry does nothing for our opponent. Yeah, and the opponent concedes. We got it pretty locked up, which is funny. So trap draw. Definitely something we want to try to get out. So for those of you who've played the format, let me know if I'm missing anything in terms of strategy. Um, should you be going aggressive? Should you be holding to like the five, six, seven drop? Um, I know like the games I played in the last video was basically whoever got to come out first one. Opponent went full razor into Zakama, which was disgusting. Uh, let's get out a threat. Put some pressure on the opponent. Uh, here we'll get rid of the island. 
literal vanilla. <laughs> a 2-2 two -two for 2 with no effects. Alright opponent, what you got? Okay, so we'll hold off. We'll just keep poking until the opponent makes a move, and then try to get something in the 5-6-7 drop range. They could, ah, uh, they could actually mill us out here. Not the best, because they can't actually cast spells, but. Okay, opponent, you're not going to block, so just take the damage. Here, let's just get rid of the... Swamp. Flip two coins. If both coins are head, gains double strike. If both coins are tails. Okay, it's a big body at least. That is a bigger body. Flying trample six six. Okay, so we need help. Let's see what we get. Get rid of the island here. And then you get these useless cards. Uh, we'll hold off a turn. It's three turn clock. So let's let's attack. Let's see if Lux on our side. So it gains menace. It's still only four damage on the opponent's side. I would have preferred the double strike. Uh, so here it's for six. We need an answer. It's unlikely that we're gonna get something bigger than a 6 6 flyer. Yeah, that's not gonna do much. With afterlife. Actually not bad. So we'll just block here. This makes our stuff bigger, so we might be able to alpha strike them. So that's seven. Let's see what we get. Can lock an additional creature each combat. So they block, block, they take six, and we're dead. So luck of the draw for this format for sure. When you're getting your four mana 6-6 six, six flying tramplers. Probably have to look a little bit more into this format if there's like a specific strategy uh, do we want to go two drop I will pass this opponent want to make first move Not a bad two drop for them. Chain whirler, chain whirler. 
Not the worst. And they're getting... I'm just gonna trade this off. They'll get a 1-1, one -one, but I'm fine with that. You can really see how bad the Ixalan block cards are compared to... Like, uh, Ravnica. with this. It's so bad. Just trade here. You're not helping me, Dominaria. Give me some big dinosaurs or uh, get out my way. Just, just trade here. Something out there, hopefully good. Uh, trades. I'll probably just take the damage this turn. Or let's just buffer. So, opponent gets a bad drop. That's six. Might buy us a turn if we could get something big. Instead, we get a 3-3 three, three flyer for six mana. Can't even deal with this thing. No blocks here. Attacks, it gets one for each land you control. Holy. Okay. I am cool with that. We have seven lands. This is a 14 14 trampler. Make it a 15 15 trampler. Never seen this card before. That's yeah, fine. Can you take 15? <laughs> Good games. Oh, we probably played that wrong too. Full razor could have been something we hit at the eight drop. Okay. Run it back for another one. on the play this game it looks uh, so I'll just leave there last turn Opponent goes for a two drop here. Do we want to 
want to go two drop. I think we just wait and go for a three drop. It's not too much pressure. It's a redraw. It's not bad. Effectively lets us play with the four drop without falling behind on uh, our curve. So a little attack in here. Just gonna take the block. Just keep our life total high. step if you attacked with a creature this turn you draw a card if you do discard doesn't really do much it's a blocker at least they'll come with the five drop now mammoth spider Pretty good blocker on this board. They can try to attack it. So here we'll just go five drop. No attacks here. No sense throwing it to the spider. But if we could hit some more dinosaurs, this actually makes it quite scary. So, the opponent hits. So, Frilled Serpent's actually a clock. They're going to be spending their turns making it unblockable. Six. Whenever you cast, eh, it's not very good. Don't know what the opponent's doing there, but we will happily continue to play out our big stuff. <laughs> All right. Would you like to block? Sure. Trying to get more mountains. So two, four, seven, eight next turn. The nice thing is with uh, Registar Alpha, a lot of these larger drops are dinosaurs. Even Zakama with haste. Creatures you control attack each combat. Your opponent control attack each combat if able. Well, if that's the case. What do we got on eight? How about that for I have to attack? Your blocks don't matter. Sweet. So I think we break even now on the event. Okay, so we need one more to start cracking rares. It's 
past turn. Because I'm on the play, I want to do a 2 drop here to start pressuring them ideally. What do you do? Not much. It's fine, and we can skip the 3 drop and then start doing 4 drop. They opt to skip three as well, then we probably also just go to five. Okay, so it's a death toucher. Let's see what we hit. As long as you have a Dovin's Planeswalker. What is this nonsense? So we'll probably skip five, depending if they don't hit a flyer. That's fine if they want to waste their turn, they don't even have green mana. So I'm gonna skip five. And just go to six. blocks here. <laughs> okay. I will take a nib. Thank you. I'm gonna double block if they attack with the charging. Equally awkward. Let's just do that. Niv's not the best in this format. We just get to pick for one each turn. Really just want a big body. Blocks here. We can go eight next turn. Opponents on seven. Zakama next turn. Let's keep the swap just in case. What is this garbage? Okay, no attacks. Here we can take eight. I think we're dead regardless. Just block like that. Nine doesn't really do much. We get Zakama. 
but they have three creatures. Five is probably where we need to go. You got Biogenic Ooze, you got a couple other spells. Okay, so that actually keeps us alive for another turn. Two, four, five, nine. We get Zakama next turn as well. Oh, good call. Good game by the opponent. So, Twenty gems. not the worst anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoy if you haven't subscribed already make sure to do so and have a great one